Hey everybody, it's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, and in this video I'm going to talk to you about creating custom usernames when you first install WordPress, or creating custom usernames if you already have your WordPress site installed. So when you're installing WordPress, you're going to see something that looks very similar to this. It's a very simple page with very few options. This is the installation page for WordPress. So the basics that are required are the site title, which is the first field, the username, the password, that you want to use for that username, your email address, and a privacy setting that tells search engines to either index or not index that site. And that's all there is to this page. But something that's very important that you need to do is choose a username very wisely. I have admin written in here for the username as an example of what you do not want to have as your username. The reason is, is it's bad for security. There was a time back before WordPress 3.0, which is not that many years ago, where WordPress automatically created a username called admin for every single website. And every hacker in the world knew that. So then to brute force your site, which basically means that they guess your username and password, they know the username is admin, so all they have to do is guess your password, which makes their work relatively easy, especially since it's automated software doing the work. So what you want to do nowadays, because you have the option to do this now, is make sure you, your username is not admin. You also maybe want to try not using your name as the username. If you want to be really secure, make your username a bunch of random letters and numbers, because that will make it less likely that a hacker will be able to guess it. And if you combine a complicated username with a complicated password, you pretty much eliminate the chance of having a brute force attack be successful on your website. And what you can also do to make it even more likely that people will not be able to brute force your site is to install a plugin like Limit Login Attempts or WordFence. And with those plugins, you can set how many times someone is allowed to get a password wrong on the login page. And if you set that number to three or four or five, that's not gonna be enough for a hacker to guess your username and your password if they're both securely made. So I recommend that you choose a custom username, a complicated password, and install a plugin that limits the number of times someone can get the username and password combination incorrect on your login page. But what do you do if you already have your WordPress site installed and you already have an admin user, and that admin user already has pages and posts published in their name on the website? What you do is you go to the user panel in your admin site, show you right here when you hover over users you can click on add new users and then you just add a new user with a custom username in the first field an email address in the second field the rest are optional except for the password where you'd want to make a complicated hard to guess password and then you create that user for whatever role is required usually this would be the admin account if it's your account and then you just create that user and then you go back to your all users list by clicking on the all users link in the left hand menu. And then let's say this one right here where it's just Bjorn, so let's say that's the admin user. You check that box, you click on the drop down, you select delete, and you click on apply. And WordPress will give you the option, or at least it should give you the option, to assign whatever posts the admin user has to a different user. If it doesn't give you that option, another step you can take is you go to your post page, click on all posts, click the box at the very top, the checkbox right beside the title. Under bulk actions, under the drop down, click on edit, then click on apply. And in the middle area, you can choose the author. So if your admin user has created a bunch of posts, they will be the author for a bunch of them. And you can choose the new author that you created as now being the person or the, the user that published those posts. And then you can update all the authorships on your whole site. And then you can go back and delete the admin user. And then you don't have to fear having, um, having any posts deleted because that user was deleted. There are cases I've seen where the admin user cannot be deleted. So what you can do is create just an insanely complicated password for the admin user. Just make it 50 or 60 characters long of random letters and numbers and symbols. 
and there's pretty much no way anybody's ever gonna guess that. The other option, of course, is going into the MySQL database and deleting that user from the user table, which is a little more complicated. That route isn't for everybody. If you, if you have an admin user that you can't delete, I recommend making a very, very complicated password. But if you're able to go into the MySQL database and so you know what you're doing, you can go to the WP underscore users table. You can find the admin user and you can delete them in there. I hope this video helps you. I hope you understand the importance of having a custom username now and making sure your site is secure. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Please make sure you check out our social media. Share this video and check out wplearninglab.com where we write about WordPress every single day. Talk to you soon.